What's up YouTube, what? Barcode here. Today I'm bringing you another Dungeon Hunter Champions video. This video is going to be about the PvP meta and PvP strats you can take to get as far as you can in the rankings. Uh, it's definitely rewarding to do PvP, obviously for the easy free gems every week. Um, but also if you get high enough, and depending on the week, it can be a decent reward uh, for the three star anyway. Uh, this week, not so much. I don't think anyone has a six star Dark Boon Sister. However, I am starting to build one on a lower priority list to see what she can actually do um, since everything's based off max HP. However, I think most of her skills still the majority of the damage is on attack based if you look into the info. Anyway, long story short. Uh, let's get into the video. So this video is going to be about the PvP meta. So let's look at the rankings first. And there is very commonality to all of the high-ranking defenses in the game right now. Uh, one beating what I mean, one being Water Archangel, obviously, uh, with the inv invincibility, AOE silence. Um, it's just a super great mon champion to bring. You need to when you when someone has a water AA on defense that means you have to bring a stripper so that's one spot that is definitely in your offense that you need to bring uh, Safan's 88 right now is currently ranked one um, I can tell you that his Valkyries are both high damage Valkyries um, and then his his nature pirate is either tanky or probably more of a nuker because um, nature pirate can and any pirate mind you can put out some decent damage um, but as we go down the list obviously you can see the biggest things invincibility immunity cooldown reduction um, if they can bring in an uh, attack break I mean a, a defense a lower defense defense break or an attack buff the even better um, this team right here I can guarantee is gonna do a ton of damage and then you have to bring a stripper relieves one less person on your team the only thing that is limited on this team is sustain so if you can sustain all that damage and since that defense does not have a strip if you have a water archangel as well you can just bring that let's check out the third Defense Dazen Karuki. Dazen Karui. See, if you know me from other games, my pronunciations of names are horrible. So I don't even try. I just kind of make fun of myself. So Dazen Karu. Uh, Water Archangel, obviously. Again, lower cooldowns on skills. You know, Rhoda has the, um, the lower cooldowns and attack speed, lower attack. Uh, Obviously, everybody knows like Xenia, she has uh, the lower cooldown skill on her heal, which is awesome. Then you have the Fire Greater Demon, which is a AoE stripper, and then the invincibility. So it, it's pretty commonalities on the defenses. Uh, again, invincibility, immunity, lower cooldown. We've seen that defense already. Uh, now, this to me is a little bit overkill, but... Um, all you really need to bring against this, I'm sure they're high HP, they're probably super hard to kill, but end game, you know, I'd have to see who attacks Keither because I am not on that level right now. Um, but I would think one strip to everyone and then bring in a nature pirate or a, a dark pirate and then just, you know, nuke them down if you have a light munchkin and it's another huge damage dealer i'm sure that could do some damage to this team if you just bring a stripper um however super tanky and that's the meta currently is this invincibility immunity super tanky lower cooldown type defenses to stall out the enemy because the cool the timer isn't that long so um and that's one thing I feel like you probably, if you want to change the meta game off, you want to change that cooldown. I mean, not the cooldown, but the timer on offense. Um, it, it, because I could. There's a lot of teams where it's just stall defense, but I could kill them. Like I've been down to the last guy, and I just run out of time, and that's fine. And that's that's part of the game currently. But 
you know, this stall defense type, uh, it's, it's not very appealing to a lot of people. Uh, second option, Cryo907. Okay, so he's got immunity. Um, he's got Nature Munchkin, which is six starred and will hurt. He's got Fire uh, Blade Master, which will hurt Alia. Alia. Um, and then he's got Xenia. So he's got all around pretty decent stuff. Um, what I'm going to do, he doesn't have a stripper except for Xenia, and Xenia will always use her uh, third skill first. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to bring Water Archangel. They don't have a strip, and this will eliminate any anyone that uh, gets in my way here. Um, with you know, it won't kill my guys. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I'm going to bring the pirate to kill them off quickly. Um, however, they have immunity, so I do need to bring a stripper. So. In this instance, I want I want invincibility so I don't die first turn from Munchkin, okay? But I also want to bring a stripper for that immunity, okay? So stripper, invulnerability, okay? So we have fire and nature for the damage dealers, okay? So I kind of want to bring either dark and light or uh, or fire damage, okay? So I'm just going to bring the dark timekeeper, which I bring dark timekeeper to every video. Yeah, I do. It's one of my best champs, so why wouldn't I? Um, and then I'll bring. Oh, look, a second one. And then I'll bring uh, just for funsies. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just bring nature, just because I have the shield. I have the invulnerability. I don't feel like fire is gonna rip up my team too much. So. Put the HP lead, and then I'll go. So what I'm thinking is going to happen here is Fire Alia, Alia, Fire Beast Blade Master is going to charge in and do her all like the AI always tells her to do. However, if my Light Golem Assault can stun her, she should be dead pretty quickly. Um. And I do have invulnerability, so I can sustain all the initial damage, which would be nice. Um, if my Blade Master AI would actually hurry up and do the alt, which he finally did, um, that works. So there you have it. Second round, hopefully do the same thing. Maybe my Nature VM will do a little bit uh, quicker of an ultimate, which would be nice. Um, looked like Xenia actually stripped in vulnerability really quick, uh, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, so that is that. And then we have to deal with this Xenia healing non nonstop. So, all right, so this is a real super, super tanky team, okay? Um, and the problem with Siege Towers, when you face them anyway, is they're going to charge in. So this is gonna split your DP, uh, the defense into two. There's gonna be a back line and a front line. Um, so you definitely wanna bring some sustain to this. Um, so what I'm gonna do, they don't have any shields or anything like that. Well, they, the Siege Towers do. Um, so, what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna instead of bringing Water Archangel, uh, I'm gonna bring some sustain. So I'm gonna bring the Water Bulk for some damage and some sustain, substain, a, a, a dirt stain, substain, and then I'm gonna bring uh, the Nature Pirate. So uh, my plan is to hopefully kill off. The front line first it's gonna be a little bit longer of a fight uh, because of the tankiness um, but I feel like I can make it work uh, I want to kill off the front line first they're gonna have shields but hopefully the AI of uh, basalt will strip them immediately and steal them um, so he's taking less damage the one thing I need to worry about though is uh, who's on despair so Dark Dryad is probably on despair. Um, I'm actually, you know, 
I'm following the meta as well because it's, it's the one thing that is working and is a good idea to do is building Water Ranger as a nuke and the immunity so I can bring the Nature Pirate, bring the Water Ranger for immunity and a, a, and that's my second nuke and then I bring, or my first nuke anyway, and then I bring my second nuke. Um, so let's see how this works here. So, all right, Siege Towers are dead. And then I'll go for the back line. So Nature BM kind of tore both of them up, um, which is nice. So let's try it again, because when I strip that, when I strip that shield, um, they're not as tanky. I mean, they're they're probably built straight HP. My light Gylem actually, you know, a lot of people build straight HP, triple HP, one dazzling, which mine is own dazzling, uh, but mine's HP HP defense, and that's because I'm not. You know, a lot of his skills are based off of HP. Yes, he'll do more damage, um, but he still does decent damage on HP, HP defense, and it's not a big jump. If I had him on triple HP, he'd probably be maybe 10,000 more in that time frame. Um, so yeah, I mean, and Water Valk didn't even put out a lot of damage. Obviously, it was Nature BM the whole way, um, but she was just there for a safety net in case my guys got low. She could throw out the heal, and she's putting out damage. So it's it's just nice to have. I might actually just do this. The thing here is they have like no damage, okay, and only one healer. Yeah, they have a sh two shields and a regen. However. Two shields get stripped by Light Golem, and then they're and they're done. So what I'm gonna do, and it, it, they all have different uh, elements, which kind of sucks. But um, they're just five star. You could probably just nuke it down, honestly, with a Blade Master. So let's just see what I can do with that. I'm gonna bring Water Valk in just because. Now you know what? Screw it. I'll just do that. I was going to think about bringing Water Valk just because of the Fire Archangel and just having that element advantage to that. Um, and as the sustain should be, would be nice. Um, but I think I can just nuke down this whole team um, just because of the strip. And then they, they all only have Xenia as the healer. Um, I'm not worried about regen and Arita at all. Um, the shield can be troublesome, but I can just strip it. Okay, so one down, and Dark TK can kind of sustain a little bit if they are fighting this, uh, if the melee is fighting the same person as the Dark TK. So down goes Frasia, down goes Frasia, all right, so there's that. So pretty tanky team. Um, I feel like the Water Naga should be replaced. Um, for either, if you're gonna go with tank meta, just put in Dark Dryad or, or, or someone like that, just for the cleanse, because you don't have any cleanses um, besides the self Naga basic skill. Um, but if you're stunned, you're not basic skill attacking. So, um, you know, either immunity or a Dark Dryad for another heal and a cleanse would be good for that. Uh, instead of a water naga because bringing fire and water naga uh, and just being able to strip off the shield is just Kind of no-brainer for me All right, let's see if we can get a little bit harder meta arena defenses uh, Nope 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 And Okay All right, so you don't have invulnerability here. You have a stripper so you don't really want to bring like a water archangel or um, someone with immunity because basalt has a low cooldown for the strip so that's going to be an issue so with this team uh... it's two healers you have dark tk probably two people on dazzling um, I for a team like this, I would just triple T. I would probably triple DPS it, honestly, um, and that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, I could bring. See, if I had Water Ranger here, I could triple nuke it 
and have immunity as a safe safety net even though basalt will most likely strip it all but it's okay um i am going to go with uh let's see yeah let's go with water munchkin there's no it's all light and dark um there's no element disadvantages here so i should be able to nuke them off pretty well um and hopefully i can kill them all before all my guys die because i have no sustain besides vampire um which i think i have vampire on nature munchkin and nature bm so again another super tanky two healer meta defense um but the thing is with this one is there's no immunity there's no invulnerability so you can just nuke it down and hopefully i don't hold my breath saying that and i get wiped but i should be able to yeah so super super quick super easy um so in my opinion uh if you're gonna go do this um yes dark tk is great to have and you're kind of it's like a trophy champion i would take him out and just put in like someone with immunity or whatever the case may be um because it's it's just it's not optimal some harder defenses start at the bottom um so here okay this is a like a like a double nuke sustain type uh defense however the problem is is there is no stripper so really all you need to do is bring invincibility or you bring immunity uh because he's bringing he, he's looking for that 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 wombo combo from the nature pirate so um all you need to bring is just immunity or vulnerability like i said um bring a nature pirate yourself and then uh profit from that really um there's not much more they can do uh, because they can't strip your invulnerability so ink ninja is gonna die water tk is gonna die nature pirate's gonna die and then dark dryad will be super low and you just finish him off uh, it's it's gonna be another another quickie we all like quickies don't we yeah you know not all the time but yeah most of the time we ain't got time for all that nonsense all right so here we go vulnerability oh i'm on like super slow mo or is that just lag okay whatever so again super quick four second uh arena offense just with that and yeah it's you know i'm using that fives whatever i get it you know not everybody has a water archangel <clears throat> not everybody has a nature bm but this is the meta you can use now if you're using other things because you don't have nat fives then just replace them with that if you don't have invulnerability like a water archangel bring immunity that's the best thing you can do if you have immunity um they still need to bring a stripper they still need to have a stripper so it's it's the best thing and you know what i will actually do that on my next match shield they have two shields and they have fire bm i'm not going to use any nat threes i mean any nat fives okay i'm gonna use a nat four maybe um yeah i'm gonna use nat four okay and then i'm gonna use water bulk and then i will also use hmm who can i use that i don't get yelled at you know what? I'm just gonna actually build it. Bring in a five-star level 27 fire valve. Okay, I'm actually gonna see what this does. Crappy stats, whatever. I don't care. But I have a feeling that I can still kill this team off. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's get this going. This should be kind of funny. Anyway, so. I need them to strip the shields, kill Fireblade Master first, and then I think I can maybe win. 
but how much damage am I going to be putting out? Oh, decent. Look at that damage, boy. So I started building a fire valk. Okay. <clears throat> And she's just as good as light. She's just as good. And there's been a lot of people that's overlooked her. I overlooked her in the beginning, I think. I don't even know what I have her rated on the tier list. But it might be a B. I, I don't remember if I even changed it yet or not. Um, she's just as good as light valve. She's, she's more of a nuker than water, dark, nature. Um... She has four skills. None of them are any type of support skill. Um, just like Light Valk. The only thing Light Valk has over Fire Valkyrie is the lower defense. However, Fire Valk does have this Orient. Oh, I should have checked the damage. Oh well. Um, but she can put out some pretty mean burst. Um, and I, I've been enjoying leveling her completely. All right, spent 20,000 gold on 10 more energy, so let's go. All right, so I'm going to uh, try to find a good defense that I can... Okay, so this is a little different. Um, there's no burst healing, per se. There's the Dark Valk, who lowers cooldowns and has a regeneration. Uh, you have invulnerability here. So you have a little bit of sustain here, sorry. You have invulnerability here, so you need a stripper. Uh, you have the Galleon-esque nature pirate. Um, so immunity or invincibility, whatever the case may be. And then you have just your straight nuker, which is melee. Um, so what you want to bring, you need a stripper, okay? The one thing you don't see here is they don't have a stripper. So I'm not going to bring Water Archangel just to make you guys happy um, but I will bring immunity and that will be water basilisk um, I would prefer water ranger but I don't have her built yet and then uh, there's two waters one nature so I'm just going to bring a BM I have immunity I have a stripper uh, you know and I honestly I could just bring a water valve to be safe because they don't have much sustain um, water valve will heal way more than dark valve um, so and then water valve will actually put out some more damage so I'm actually gonna do that and that's just more of a safety net um, I'm gonna bring the attack speed to help water valve and nature blade master and let's go get this started let's get the strip out on everybody Let's hopefully uh, kill them off. Actually, he, I don't think he's stripped, actually. So, oh, I, I don't know what happened there. They just got nuked in the face. I don't know what happened, though. I don't think my golem actually stripped until later, which is kind of weird. My nature, my BM is, like, in the back line doing his thing. Um, there we go. And see that water box sustain though. I mean, it, she can she can keep up a team for a good amount of time. Um, and that's why I enjoy her. That's why I did a video on her to show you guys the champions that aren't on the game guide, aren't showcased by high paid uh, sponsored people. Which hey, kudos to them. But uh, there's a lot of characters that aren't showcased, and that's what I'm doing. I mean, as you can see by my icon, you might know who my fourth underrated champion is, and you kind of saw her already. Um, and that's what I like to do. I like to bring new things. I like to try new things. Wink. Mr. President. All right, Donald Trump, what you got? Uh, two strippers. Uh, okay. So... All the only threat here is the fire blade master. I'm not gonna show it because it's just the. But you know what? I'll do it anyway because then somebody would say, "Oh, well, you can't beat it or something." But I can. Um, I'm just going to straight up nuke this. 
Now, I did bring a nat 5 in that last battle, but all right. Um, hmm, I'm just gonna straight nuke it, and I'm going to do, uh, where's my nature pirate? I should 5 star him, get him a little bit more tankier, or just a little bit more damage on him. Um, this, and then I will do the fire valk again, and see what happens. So this should be kind of funny. Uh, I don't expect to win this with this team, but I am just bringing nat 3s and a nat 4 nature pirate against two nat 5s hopefully to see if I can actually do something with it and uh, so I don't get as much criticism about using nat 4s or nat 5s let's see what happens let's see if I just get murdered uh, not yet oh, my sustains down though yeah not enough sustain but I did pretty decent for bringing all five star under leveled people. Uh, if I can kill off that Xenia, nope. Or my water, water valve can survive. There we go. If my water valve survives, I think I can sustain it. But I don't know, this water greater demon and his shield is kind of bothering me. See, look at that. I have water greater demon. Interesting. Alright. So, you saw it was pretty decent. The damage. Fire Valk. Insane damage. Okay. Just so you know. You'll see her soon. Alright. Now let's see what I would normally do. Alright. Um, they have two strippers. Uh, so, I'm just going to bring... Let's see. I'm just going to bring a bunch of sustain, I think. I'm going to bring Light Golem just to be the front line. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring... You know what? I'll bring Fire Valk again. She put out some decent damage. I mean, pretty OP, I'd say. Um, and then... I will bring Hmm. I need to bring water. Hmm. I'm just going to triple nuke it, fuck it. Yep, so I'm actually just going to try to triple nuke this team. Um, the really only big difference is I'm bringing Nature Blade Master um, just to kill off the Greater Demon at the end. Uh, but I feel like Fire Valk can actually just kill off Blade Master. Nature BM can kill off Xenia. I mean, Nature Munchkin, sorry. And then Nature Blade Master can finish off the rest. 
Mr. President. Alright, so the main issue with this team is there's two strippers. Water Graham and Demon will pull everyone into him. Um, the main thing that you need to do is to kill off the Fire Blade Master. Um, you could just auto it, but that's not fun. You want to see AI, right? We all do. Um, so if, if you're in doubt of what to bring, always just try to just three-man nuke it first. Because that's what I do. And majority of the time, it works. Majority of the time. That was kind of cutting it close. It was a fire BM against a nature BM, but majority of the time, it works. See? Just when in doubt, you just nuke it. Especially if they don't have invulnerability or they don't have immunity. Just three man nuke it. That's all you need to do. Here's a defense that we haven't seen yet, and this is the free to play arena defense. And it's it's pretty much an optimal free to play defense um, that you can get. Um, you have Water Basilisk for the immunity, has a stun. Uh, you could put him on Dazzling or just straight sturdy um, as high defense as you go, uh, but with Adept. Uh, adept, sorry. So he always has that immunity buff up. So that makes you bring a stripper for the immunity, okay? You also have Xenia, obviously lowers cooldowns. Dark Dryad, Cleanser, two healers. So you have two healers here, and then you have like Valk, Sigrun, who is just an awesome nuke. Uh, lowers attack, has a lower defense on the second skill. Like Zenny has a lower defense on the first skill. So you have lower defense, you have all types of things. So what do you need to bring to this optimal free-to-play defense? All of them are six-starred. Well, like I said, you need a stripper, okay? Um, you need either immunity or a shield. Um, or invulnerability. So typically I would just bring water Archangel, okay, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to bring a water basilisk, okay? And then since you bringing a stripper you can bring um, You can bring a like a you know a nature pirate because you're gonna be able to strip uh, you have the attack buff. If you don't have him, okay, another good example to bring is a Fire Boon Sister. So she, nine times out of ten, is going to use her geyser right off the bat. That'll lower defense, okay? Um, and then she will put out a heal or strip depending on your team HP overall. Uh, if she heals, then you'll get the attack buff, so it's an also a, a good example to have. Um, and you know what? I'll just I'll just do that. Screw it. And then uh, you're going to want a nuke. So the best nuke I can bring for a three star um, is Candy Munchkin right now against this team. So this is what I'm going to do. If this doesn't work, then I will show you what I would typically do on this team. Um, but I'm trying to purposely use Nat 3s for a reason. Okay, Revolts. Now, mind you, Water Basilisk is 5 star. Fire Boon is 5 star. Candy Munchkin is 5 star. Okay, they're all 6 star. Let's see what happens. I don't expect to win or do anything at this point. Um, because it's just it's not an optimal it's not my optimal team to build. This front line is super tanky. Um, you know, it is what it is. So um, after this, I will show you. That's who I would use if I didn't have these other characters that I built. So um, yeah, let's see what they can do now. Mm, probably nothing. Nope. Nature Munchkin just doesn't put out enough D DPS uh, or burst at 5 star. So, one reason that I can't kill anything. Um, so, yep, yeah, nothing can do. So, as you can see, Optimal Nat 3 free to play team right there with good gear, 
can definitely put you progress in a good matter in terms of free to play anyway um, so this is a team I'm gonna bring I'm just gonna sustain it strip it and then nature pirate and nature BM will do its thing um, nature BM obviously should be able to kill off at least light Sigrin um, I don't even know why I say light Sigrin because the names are all different <sighs> anyway, it should kill off Sigrun, 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 and then maybe Dark Dryad, depending on how they're built. Um, but we shall see. Revolts, let's go. All right, auto. So strip that, and let's see. Where is my Nature BM? Did she even do anything? I don't even know if she did anything. Is she stuck somewhere? No, she's putting out damage, but not a lot. <clears throat> there we go. One person down, finally. So that water basculus is pretty tanky. Um, oh, there's a stun, and there's an immobilize, so I'm not going to be able to do anything for a while. Unless I alt. Okay. Let's get those skill cooldowns down. Come on. Alright, so I'm, I should be able to do this in 18 seconds. Yep. Okay. So there's that. <clears throat> so round two. It was kind of kind of close. I'm going to keep focus on Nature BM because I have feeling... There we go. That's what it should have done in the first place. I feel like she was probably stunned or... Um, Uh-oh. She might die, actually. I could move her out of the way, but... Auto. Auto everything. <laughs> Don't auto everything. Just most things. Alright, so that is my revenge on Revolts for killing my Nat 3 supposedly strategized team to try to beat him without any Nat 5s. Alright, this will be my last one for the night. Uh, I want to show this one just because it has the typical stall meta team that is on some of the defense that I showed you at the top. Water Archangel, Invulnerability. Water Basculus, Invincibility, or er, Immunity. Water Xenia, oh god, Water Xenia. Xenia, the Light Boon Sister. Lower cooldowns, Burst Heal, Dark Dryad, Cleanse, Heal over time. Okay. Uh, Alright, Melibocus. Melibocus, let's go. Alright. So I need the strip and nuke. Did nothing. Look at that stall meta. It's awesome, isn't it? Even if I bring a healer, he just he can't do enough damage. Yep, and you just tiddly wink me down. Oh, I put out some damage there, but I'm about to get some uh, heals. And then you got Dazzling to worry about. So that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Nature Pirate. Come on. Let's get the strip off first. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? This is so annoying. Oh, one down. Up, oh, two down. There we go. How we win that? All right, round three. I need to go on the strip. Hurry up and do the thing. No damage being done. I'm probably stunned to hell. Yep, look at that nature BM. Just stunned for days. Got invulnerability up. My golem's down, so that means the rest of my team is going to die. I got silenced and stunned again. And I'm dead. So that's a stall meta for you. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Now, mind you, this is another reason for a different video. 
Um, as you can see, my golem does not get to the front line quick enough. So, you can take that to the bank, if you know what I mean. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring some actual sustain and maybe immunity or invulnerability. That's what I'm thinking. So let's do that. So we'll see how this works. So this is one way you can do it. Um, however, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill anybody in time before the timer goes off. Um, which is kind of why, you know, yeah, there should be a timer. Um, but I don't think one minute is a long enough timer. And that's why the stall meta is here. If, if the timer was two minutes for each round, the stall meta wouldn't be here. It wouldn't. Because you you can it one minute is just not enough um all right so let's auto it up so we got the strip i don't have immunity i have invulnerability though so what i need my nature bm to do is just slowly kill one person off at a time my water belt needs to sustain everyone up um, I'm doing that pretty well. However, it's 35 seconds in. All right, so we got two down in 30 seconds. Uh, three down, and then this should be good. Okay, let's try again. Might not get lucky this time, or will I? Nature BM could be stunned for. 10 minutes and then immobilize for another 10 minutes um, but it looks like in this case it's gonna work 15 seconds to kill off water basilisk high defense monster um, and this is with no armor break and this is with no attack buff either so as you can see 30 seconds in still only one guy down my nature BM is just sitting over there hanging out. Uh, 22 seconds in. Am I going to be able to kill somebody off? I am, but 18 seconds left. Stall meta is working currently, but I got him. Luckily. 10 seconds left. It's scary. It is scary, but it works. So that's all the time I have for tonight. Uh, hopefully I showed you uh, some different things that you may not have thought about or you know to take on a defense what thought processes that I go through uh, when I arena and when I see certain champions I'll just show you a quick look uh, you can pause the video if you like the stats on um, nature BM here the gear here it's just attack speed crit damage attack and we have light basalt Mediocre gear. Uh, it's still all five-star gear. I've been farming non-stop. Just don't get good drops, but double HP defense on dazzling. Um, let's see. I show you my dark DK stats here. Low crit rate, barf, uh, but high attack, brutal precise. I don't have my TKs on any of my TKs on adept, um, and that's because I use double or triple TK, and I just don't need them to be on adept. It's just super high cooldowns. Uh, who else did I use? Water Archangel, triple HP. Uh, right now is on adept, uh, just to get that availability up as much as possible. Water Basilisk, um, I currently on, on free gear removal, I tested on Vampire, I forgot to remove it, Vampire is horrible on him, he just doesn't do enough damage to sustain the Vampire, um, definitely go Adept or just full Sturdy, um, but I would recommend Adept because if you go triple Sturdy, uh, like the gear recommendations say, um, <clears throat> he doesn't have the defense uh, immunity buff up all the time. With Adept, you can get that done. 
Let's see, Water Valk currently <clears throat> stats, uh, and then Adept and Keen, I think, yep, Adept, Keen, and it's just attack speed, attack, attack, uh, just straight, as high attack as possible, high attack speed um, as possible with this type of gear, um, just to help out the healing and the damage done. Uh, who else did I use? Nature Mon uh, uh, Nature Munchkin, Peppermint. Here's the stats here. Mediocre. Uh, Tone Vampire, Keen, Attack, Crit Rate, Attack. So, um, even on Crit Rate has 52% Crit Damage, so can improve even more. And she's 5 star. Who else have we got? Uh, okay, and last but not least is Hilder. Hilder, Hilder, uh, Fire Volk. Uh, stats currently mediocre. Five star, level 27. You saw the damage that she was capable will do. These are just hand me down runes, so it's just vampire and actually warding just because of the, the stats that it had on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to test her as my fourth underrated champion when I am ready to do that. Um, and I may even six star her soon because I do need a fire nuke that is not fire monkey king um, To six star for arena um, and I don't want another melee <clears throat> I could do six star firefox um, Which would benefit me in multiple different areas, but um, Fire Valk is just so much better um, PvP wise so that's all the time I have today. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good day. Peace.